The United Nations General Assembly marked 27 to March as the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slave Trade, highlighting the importance of education. Maria Macham again has more details of that in this report. Passed by Congress on January 31, 1865 and ratified on December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States and provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the parties or have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. In 1948, the United Nations adopts the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which abolishes slavery internationally. Since its declaration, the United Nations General Assembly marked 27 March as the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims. Opening the event, the President of the United Nations General Assembly, Saba Kourouz, described the commemoration as one of the history's most horrific crimes against humanity. President Kourouz emphasized that through education, no one will ever experience the hell lived by the 15 million people being commemorated. A crime perpetrated for over 400 years. A crime that resulted in, in the forced deport, deportation of over 15 million men, women, and children. A crime perpetrated in full view of the law. In fact, in most cases, supported by the law of those times. Through education, we can confute any revisionism with un, undisputable facts. Through education, we can raise awareness of the dangers caused by misconceptions of supremacy, whether past or present. Through education, we can ensure that no, no one will ever experience the hell lived by the 15 million we commemorate today. For his part, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, trusts that the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade haunts us to this day. Guterres believes that a line could be drawn between colonial exploitation and orders. Millions of African children, women and men were kidnapped and trafficked across the Atlantic, ripped from their families and homelands, their communities torn apart, their bodies commodified, their humanity denied. The legacy of the transatlantic slave trade haunts us to this day. We can draw a straight line from the era of colonial exploitation to the social and economic inequalities of today. Ivory, gold and other trade resources attracted Europeans to West Africa as demand for the cheap labor to work on plantations in the Americas grew. People enslaved in West Africa became the most valuable commodity for European traders. Slavery existed in Africa before European arrives. Between 1525 and 1866, in the entire history of the slave trade to the New World, according to the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database, 12.5 million Africans were shipped to the New World. 10.7 million survived the dreaded Middle Passage, disembarking in North America, the Caribbean, and South America. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Maria Macham.